Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. I hope you enjoyed the latest episode of Fish My City. We were in London, England. Man, what a, what a show, what a trip for me. It was my first time to London. Uh, the history, the people, the culture, a really, really amazing place. The downside is we were there in the dead of winter. The air was cold, the water temperature was cold, and all the water we fished was dirty from a lot of heavy rain right before we got there. So tough fishing. But our three target bucket list species were the English pike, the barbel, and the European perch, or the European yellow perch. And uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the baits and tackle I used to try to catch these bucket list fish. The first one we went after was the English pike. The best way I can describe an English pike, it's a lot like a musky or a northern, uh, you know, long, usually very aggressive, uh, super, super predator that kills everything in sight. But the water was cold and the water was dirty and it was really, really tough fishing. We didn't catch anything all day, but late in the day we made a move to an area behind a dam. And this area had a section that was a giant eddy from that swift current. And once we found that area and the right bait, we caught some really nice English pike up to over 20 pounds. So it was really amazing. The bait that was really the, the lure that was shining for me in this show was a big swim bait. And this is a Berkeley power bait, hollow belly swim bait in a six inch size, just a normal shad colored swim bait. And the hook was really important. Um, I didn't use a jig head because there were tons of snags on the bottom. So I went with a weighted weedless swim bait hook. If you look at this one, this is the VMC Ike approved weighted swim bait hook. It's a heavy duty hook with a 3 8 ounce keel weight on the bottom of the hook. That's so important to the balance and the swim of the bait. And it's got just a little screw lock keeper. And I just take that big swim bait, I screw it up on there. And then when I put that hook in, I could actually texpose it. So the hook lays flat to the body. I was able to work it slow on the bottom. And when the fish would bite it, the hook would pop out and I'd have them. Um, amazing. Caught some really big English pike on that. The great thing about it is I used it on bass tackle. I used it on the same rod and reel that I use when I'm fishing for largemouth bass. I fished it on a 7.4 medium heavy action Abu Garcia Ike series rod. Um, I used a Revo Ike in a 6.6 six to 1. I went to a lower ratio to force myself to slow down. I went with 20 pound, 100% Berkeley Trilene fluorocarbon, straight fluorocarbon, and that really helped me get the bait to the bottom. I would slow roll it, barely creeping along the bottom. And those fish were so lethargic, a lot of them that we caught had mud on their belly or they had leeches. And when you see mud or leeches on a fish's belly, it tells you what they're doing. They're laying on the bottom. Key, key bait to catch those English pike. Uh, the second lure for me, second species for me was a new one. And I went after a species called a barbel. Uh, here in the United States, we don't have barbel. The best way I can describe a barbel is it's a cross between a sucker and a carp. Um, really amazing species. We fished in a place called River Wandle, and this particular tributary had extremely fast current in it. And if you look at these barbel, they're long and they're lean, and they're built for living in current in these, these small streams and rivers. And uh, you know, they're, they're really built solid because they have to deal with that current. Once again, tough fishing. Cold water, a little bit dirtier water than normal. And because of that, it was tough to catch a barbel. Uh, I think I ended up catching an eel one day and that was it. And then my second day trying to catch them, I finally hooked into one of these things and it was a beast. A barbel that was well over 15 pounds, 
probably one of the best fights I've ever had in fresh water. I uh, want to talk to you about the system that I used to catch this fish. And it was more of traditional uh, European carp fishing methods, but with a little twist on it. Um, I used a real little, look at the size of that hook, a real little number two VMC drop shot style hook. And it's, that's just a real good all around hook if you're carp fishing or trout fishing or bass fishing, just a great little hook that gets them. Um, I used a 3 8 or a half ounce ball style weight that I had uh, rigged behind a swivel. So it was almost like sort of like a mini Carolina rig where that ball weight, that VMC tungsten ball weight would hit the bottom and then this bait would just kind of drift in the current behind it. Now here's the shocker. I used for bait, spam. That's right, spam, the canned meat. And I would take a little piece of spam, I would break a cube off, I'd put it on that little hook, and that thing would just drift in the current. That spam has kind of a scent that was emitted downstream, and when that barbel ate it, he sucked it in, and I got him. Uh, amazing fight, amazing species, on a really unorthodox method to catch him using spam you know the final species on my bucket list was really supposed to be the easiest one to catch and that was the european perch or the european yellow perch um you know i thought from perch fishing in the united states in the dead of winter even when it's cold and you have dirty water perch bite pretty easy but that was not the case um, and by the way, the European perch, unlike its cousin here in the United States, can get up to five and six pounds. So can you imagine catching a yellow perch that's six pounds? I can't even imagine it. Make a long story short, we went two full days without ever catching one, um, never had a bite. That's the reality of fishing. Um, you know, uh, if, you're a, if you're an angler, you know some days you just don't catch them. Uh, but the bait I chose, and, and when I go back to have revenge on those fish, this is one of the lures I'll be using, is just a small little swim bait. I used an uh, eighth ounce VMC jig head, just either a darter head or a little mushroom style head. And to that little VMC head, I just put a small swim bait. And this is one of my favorites, especially when I'm fishing for perch in dirtier water. Uh, if you look at it, that's the three inch Berkeley Power Bait Ripple Shad in the Fire Tiger color. Something about that Fire Tiger with yellow percher around, especially in stained water, they go crazy about it. Let me tell you a little bit about the rods and reels I used for those species. Uh, you know, for the barbel, I used um, same spinning rod I'd use bass fishing. I used a seven foot medium action Abu Garcia Ike series spinning rod. To that, I went with straight fluorocarbon, straight fluorocarbon. And I used 10 pound Berkeley Trilene, 100% fluorocarbon on a Abu Garcia Revo Ike size 20. And it was perfect for the barbel. That seven foot medium action rod was limber enough that when that fish made big runs, it would absorb it and I landed that fish. And when we attempted to catch the European perch, I used the same exact rod and reel with a little bit different line setup. The seven foot medium action Abu Garcia Ike series. I used the Abu Garcia Revo Ike in the 20 size. But when I perched fish, because it was so tough, I went down to six pound straight, 100% Berkeley fluorocarbon and still didn't get a bite. Um, that's fishing. I'll tell you what, even though I incompleted the three species, I missed one. It was still a trip of a lifetime, and uh, I'll, I'll never forget some of those moments fishing in London. Hope you liked the London show of Fish My City. I'll see you for next week's show.